Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jerry and I am One Frugal Introvert. On this channel, I'm learning all about personal finances. So I'm learning how to both manage my money and how to make more of it. So if you're interested in that type of content, then please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. So today's video is going to be a budget with me. So I'm going to be doing a recap of last week's budget, which was January 1st through the 7th. And then I'm going to be going over this week's budget, which is January 8th through the 14th. So if you're interested in seeing me do that, then just keep watching. And we're back. So I'm going to start off with my budgeted income. So if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My income is my full-time income and I get paid on a monthly basis. So I budgeted my paycheck to be $2,000. $2,280.91, which it actually was, but my actual income ended up being $2,290.91. So that extra $10 actually came from, from my boyfriend. So I added that $10 there. And then I budgeted my expenses for the first week to be $1,495.99. But my expenses were a little bit less. They were $1,429.15. So my budgeted balance was $784.92, but my actual balance was $861.76. So moving down to my savings and my investments, I did budget $100 to put into my Roth IRA, and I did actually move $100 over to the Roth IRA. I did budget and invest $62 into Robinhood, and I budgeted and saved $50, and I moved that to my regular savings account at Ally Bank. So I did budget $212 and I actually saved and invested $212. Moving down to my sinking funds. So I did budget and stuff $234 amongst my emergency fund, my medical vacation car maintenance sinking fund, and my savings challenge, which is all going to debt for the savings challenge. Moving over to my bills, so I did budget $550 for my rent, but it ended up being $545.15. And then I um, paid $90 for Verizon, which is what I budgeted, and the internet was $54.99. So I did budget $694.99 for my bills, but they ended up being $690.14. Moving down to my variable expenses, I budgeted 50 for my groceries, but I actually spent $33.27. And for personal, I budgeted $30, but I only spent $9.74. And then I budgeted $25 for miscellaneous expenses, and I didn't buy anything. So I did budget $105 for my variable expenses, but I only spent $43.01. Lastly, my debt. So for my student loans, I budgeted that I would pay $250 and I actually did move that $250 to um, my savings challenge. Like I said earlier, I'm using that savings challenge to pay off my debt. So if you want to um, go back and watch the video of me doing my cash stuffing, then I will link it above in the cards. So moving on to this week's budget. So Normally what I would do is I would budget, I would move this actual number over to my budgeted balance over here because that's what I would be left um, with from my paycheck. However, what I'm doing is I'm moving my budgeted balance from last week over here because this actual balance is the money that's left over um, from variable expenses that I did not purchase. So that's my rollover money. But I'm not putting the rollover money back into my bank account. I am going to be stuffing that into my rollover envelope. So that's why I am working with the budgeted balance from last week instead of the actual balance. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, my budgeted balance is $784.92. So that's what I have to work with for the rest of the month. My expenses, I'm budgeting $383.95. So I should be left over with $400.97. So I'm not really doing a whole lot for this week. I'm going to be um, investing $22 into my Robinhood account. And then I'm going to be stuffing a total of $171 into my sinking funds. So $90 into Geico, $51 into my subscriptions, $10 into my Shots Fired uh, sinking fund, $10 into jewelry, and then $10 into my three to six months worth of expenses. Over to my bills, I'm budgeting $15.11 for Netflix, 
55.44 for Bluehost. And then this is a new one. This is something I don't normally have. It's KDP, so it's Kappa Delta Pi. So that is an honor society that I'm a part of for educators. And my um, my yearly fees are due at the end of uh the end of this month, I think on the 31st, if I'm not mistaken, and it's $95.40. So I actually forgot about that. So I'm gonna have to start adding that money to my subscription so that I can have that every January. So my bills for this month are 100, or excuse me, for this week are $115.95. And for my variable expenses, I am budgeting $35 for groceries, 20 for personal, and then 20 for miscellaneous, totaling $75 and then I'm not doing anything for debt. So that is it for the budget. And then really quickly, I am gonna go over my no spend days. So I think I did pretty decent uh, for this week. I had one, two, three no spend days. Saturday is when my bills came out. Sunday, um, I purchased some groceries and personal products. And then Tuesday, I bought the um, the stocks and Wednesday was when my internet came out. So. Monday, Thursday, and Friday were three no spend days. My goal for this month is to get to 15. So I really gotta set my game up if I'm gonna get to those 15 no spend days. Today is Saturday. Um, I already went grocery shopping, so this isn't gonna be a no spend day, but I'm hoping that I do have a lot of no spend days for next week. So that was it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, peace.